Okay, so we are back with our book, and what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you how to make these pockets and put the um, covers on them, and then we're going to get it into our book. The only thing that I did um, that I'm not going to actually show you is putting the red tape on the both sides of the hidden hinge. So because I, I didn't have the thinner red tape, I just um, put the thicker tape over half and then folded it over. So what you're going to do is you're going to have a pe four pieces that look like this. They're going to have score marks on both sides. So you're just going to fold on the score mark like that. And we're going to put a little glue along here. And you're going to take the matching piece like this and you're just going to line that up and get that glued down. Give it a good little rub. And then I'm going to put some glue on the other side. It's a simple pocket. Okay. Oops, I just put the cap on my glue. Okay, and then you're just going to get that lined up on the other end and give it a good rub. Okay, then you're going to have um, some decorative. Uh, pieces that are going to go on top. So I ran mine through the Xyron. I also inked the edges. So I'm just going to glue that on like that. And then we're just going to stick this one on like this. And so what I did was I used four different patterns. So I'm basically alternating. So I have, you know, the fish, a jagged, Mine, the dots, a different jag, the fish again. So I want my jagged line to go on the outside. So I'm just going to peel the red tape off here. And we've done this before. I'm just going to open this up. And I want this to be, in this case, I want that to be on my outside. So you're just going to open it up so you can see it. And you're going to get it over your hinge. Oops. Sorry, I'm going to do this this way. It's a little bit easier for me to see. So you're just going to get that around there like that and get it centered. And then once it's centered, you're going to give it a good little press. And then you have your page in there. I think I actually did mine a little bit crooked. But, okay. Yeah, mine came out a little bit crooked there. I'm going to see if I can get that fixed, and we'll be right back. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is you're going to have four um, uh, pieces that are a little bit larger that I use some cardstock, and then I have some printed pattern paper on both sides. These are tags that are going to go inside of our pockets. So, again, I ran mine through the Xyron to make this nice and easy. So you're basically just going to, again, cut four sets one for each pocket and then you're just going to put the pattern paper trim pattern paper on like that and then you're going to have four tags that will sit inside of our pockets um, the other thing we're going to have is you're going to have four pieces that look like this and there's little holes on the side and you also have a score mark down the middle so I'm just going to fold this on the score mark so you can see it and you're going to have pattern paper that's going to fit in here as well. Let me just grab that. And again, I ran mine through my Xyron. And I'm just going to peel this. Okay, so you're going to have... Um, I wanted to have matching patterns up and down on both sides, so I'm just going to take this and get that centered on there. Okay, and then flip it over. These will be some cute photo mats that you can put some 
four by sixes on without any problems. Okay, and then that's gonna fold like that. Okay, so then what you're gonna have is you're gonna, so once you have this done, I'm going to grab my book and these are going to all fit into our pockets like that. And then the other piece will sit behind inside the pocket like that. And we're gonna do that for all four pockets and then our little book will be ready. And then we're going to work on our next piece. So thanks for watching, we'll be right back.